Hello and welcome to lesson six. We are now right at the end of the email. We are signing off. These are the last few things that we've got to write, but we've still got to make sure that we write them well to have a successful email. So these are the general rules about offering to help. You always should include a sentence at the end of your email offering support. It is just the standard. Everyone has to do this. And this is a standard sentence and there is absolutely no need to overcomplicate this. Just say, if you have any questions at all, please get in touch. It's for an email, it's okay. It's perhaps neutral. If you wanted to make it a little bit more formal than you could, if you needed to make it a little bit more informal than you could. But this is basically what you have to say. There is no need to overcomplicate it. So should you wish to discuss any of the matters contained herein, please feel free to contact us at your earliest convenience is absolutely not necessary. It's also absolutely not necessary in a legal memo, by the way, but certainly not in an email. Keep it nice and simple. And of course, you should or you could use this to direct the reader to specific people. So if you're writing about different things, then you could say instead of, if you have any questions, please get in touch. You could say, if you have questions about this, please contact Nancy. If you've got questions about this, please contact Paul. And you can make that quite specific by doing that. You are helping the reader to do what you want the reader to do. In terms of the closing, these are the general rules. Now, emails, as I said in the first couple of lessons, are more informal than a standard letter. So even though you might be writing to dear sir or dear madam, there is no need to say yours sincerely or yours faithfully. Generally speaking, three endings or closings are accepted. Kind regards, best regards, regards. That's all you need to say. If you use these forms in an email, you will not cause offence. These are professional, business-like closings. However, one thing you should not do, even though you might see it, is say KR for kind regards, or BR for best regards. Nearly everyone hates this form, that you're too lazy to write out two words. So just be careful. Kind regards, best regards, regards, okay. KR, BR, definitely not. Okay, so this was a short video with some short rules, but hopefully you were listening. So what I'd like you to do now is have a look at the sentences behind me and ask yourself which of them are good, which are not good. Pause the video, have a quick think about it, and then come back to me and we'll go through the answers. Okay, so let's have a look at the answers now. Should you need to elaborate on any of the issues in this document? No. Far too formal, far too unnecessary, far too many words. There is no need to do this. Keep it simple, keep it to the point. Got questions? Call us. No, a little bit too informal. Now this might be okay if you've got a fantastic relationship with someone or uh, the, the culture of the company is really, really relaxed. But if you don't know who you're writing to, or if you don't have, um, you haven't established a good working relationship, something to avoid. The above is very easy. The above is easy to understand. But if you have any questions, please. Now, the reason why this is a big no-no is because what you think doesn't make any difference. So you might think it's easy, but the reader might not think it's easy. So if you say it's easy to understand, what you might be saying is that the reader is a little bit stupid, perhaps. So we don't want to include 
anything like this. We want to play it safe. We want to play it neutral. If you have any questions, please get in touch. And that last one, if you have any questions, queries, comments, please get in touch. Now, you might see this a lot, I know I do, but it's still wrong. You don't need to say questions, queries, comments. One is absolutely fine. If you have any comments, please get in touch. If you have any questions, please get in touch. If you have any queries, please get in touch. We don't need to go through a list of possible things that the reader might have. Okay, so this was a quick video with some quick but important rules. Here, this is no room for you to experiment with different things. There is a standard and professional way to finish off your emails. And if you don't finish off your emails in this way, there is a chance that you will ruin all of the good work that you've done in writing the rest of your email, which would be a great shame to have an effective, successful email right until the end where it all goes wrong and leaves the reader with a bad picture right at the end of your email. So remember those rules, use those rules, trust in those rules, and you will finish off your successful email.